let's see those trees are just built in so that that obviously is not going to not going to work so let me just start getting rid of some of these trees on here we got this one and uh, are you kidding me oh my gosh crash and burn crash and burn you gotta love it glitch glitch mania gotta love it Welcome back to another Cities with John episode. It's episode 9 of the Beach Resort series. I am thrilled to have you along for the ride today. And we are going to be doing something a little bit different. Breaking outside of the hotel mold to make a park area and a planetarium. Um, so yeah, this is, uh, this is pretty cool. I have not really made too many parks in this city just yet, so I'm excited about making this one. And uh, <clears throat> this is a rather challenging build because we're going to be doing a lot of slope building, which is always tough to do. And um, yeah, yeah, you'll see there's a few little hiccups along the way that we're going to have to deal with. But I have this big area of land, got the trees uh, out of the way. And I'm kind of getting rid of some of the sandy look to it. I don't want it to look like the beach goes all the way up onto this um, little ledge. And it's nice and flattened out, basically, from my last episode, uh, episode 8. And by the way, if you're a new subscriber to the channel, uh, I just came along here recently. I appreciate you uh, coming along for the ride, and I uh, hope you enjoy my channel. Um, check it out. I try to post a new video about once a week, so anyway, a very addicting game, to say the least. I can't stop playing it. <clears throat> so, this park area, it's going to be something that's a little bit of a kind of a, a combination of a park and just a place people can park their cars, walk along this strip, go to the many different establishments that are along this strip, and um, the planetarium idea, I just kind of got, you know, an idea of using a planetarium. I found this really cool planetarium on the workshop. It's a very old looking building. And I thought, you know, what better way to kind of make a reasoning that it's there, uh, next to all these resorts and stuff. But, you know, it's something that's been on this uh, on this strip for quite a while, and that's why it's there, and, and that's why uh, that's why it's going to go where it's going to go. <clears throat> so, I'm just uh, really looking forward to this one. So, um, so yeah, it's a little parking lot here. I'm kind of expanding it over. Kind of want to make it big, nice uh, size parking lot, so there's plenty of places for people to park and. Then we're going to just kind of make a little road here that's going to connect down this slope. Um, and first thing, we're going to put in a small roundabout. Um, and I don't have the roundabout maker mod. I see it used so often. And um, I don't know why I don't have it. I just, I don't, I've never, first off, I don't really make that many roundabouts. I try not to. Um, my theme is kind of American cities, and there's not that many roundabouts. Uh, roundabouts are more of a European thing, so I haven't really been making all that many roundabouts in my uh, city, so I, I have not got that mod. Here you see a beach resort um, asset that um, 
has a nice little look to it. It's got some little huts down there right by the uh, shoreline. And um, unfortunately, those are a little bit too close to the shore. So we're going to have to bring those back up a tad. And um, But anyway, um, nice little building. Um, and uh, has, a, has a pretty neat look. And we got to connect some water here. And then that little water icon will go away. And then we can go into the prop it up uh, mod and replace these generic vanilla trees with some different palms. Kind of give them a little bit of a, uh, um, a better look. See, that looks a lot better than those vanilla palms. Uh, IMO. So, um, I have another little, yeah, this one right here, this restaurant here is a really cool restaurant. Um, this is, uh, and that icon you see, that little red flashing road looking thing, that means there's no road connection. That means that, uh, game is telling you that there's no road connecting people to this building um, it doesn't necessarily mean that people are not going to go to that building it just means that there's no road connected to it so hypothetically people will not be able to get to the building easily and it also in the grand scheme of things the, the biggest issue is um, it is uh, like fire trucks, police cars, um, hearses, things of that nature are not going to be able to reach the building. So that's a huge issue, especially if you're playing the game vanilla and you're not doing it the way I'm doing it, which is kind of the design, uh, design style and all that being more important. But if you're playing straight up vanilla, you have to have row connections for every building or your buildings are just it's gonna be pointless in a lot of ways so this is a neat little seaside restaurant it's got its own parking lot which of course i'm not really all that big of a fan of the built-in parking lots to these assets but it is what it is and that's the main reason that i put that road connected to it because i don't necessarily have to have the road connections the way i play it's not going to affect having um you know i have all the fires disabled uh so not really gonna affect that. So here I'm just putting in some invisible sidewalks um, that will allow people to walk um, down the, those lines I just made. And I'm just kind of adding some decals so you can kind of see where those invisible sidewalks start and kind of where they go. Um, and the idea is that people would walk to that um, bu building there and. Oh, what do we got here? Uh, okay. That could be a problem. I'll see you guys later. Ah! Alright, so I decided to move um, that resort over after dealing with some of the slope and terrain issues there. It just didn't look right and I could not get it to necessarily fit um, right there where it was without being halfway submerged into the water. So I moved it over here and I think that looks a lot better. Um, it has plenty of room and I got this little dirt road coming off. Uh, so it does have road access uh, and plus cars can park in that parking lot. Now here I've got some paths that I've kind of thrown together. Uh, <clears throat> I'm trying to keep this area, I want to kind of make it look a little bit different than some of the other areas in the strip. So what I'm doing is I'm going through and I'm just kind of adding some terrain elements. Um, haven't used rocks all that much on this build. Um, and honestly, rocks are kind of hit or miss. If you use them wisely and you kind of um, add enough decorations to them and, and not use that one's pretty cool right there. Uh, well, probably too big. Um, but you have to use them wisely and you have to, you have to make them blend in with the environment they can't just be um, setting random places it's got to kind of blend in with the environment and and, and make sense and uh, but I, I did want when I originally thought of what I was going to do with this little uh, area over here you know I was kind of thinking what is this strip missing as far as you know I've got plenty of places for people to um, gamble and stay at hotels and all that stuff 
but not much for the nature enthusiast and not that that really matters all that much in this situation in a, in a city area like this uh, resort area but you know I kind of want I had this all, a lot of beach land over here and I didn't want to just make another beach with just the uh, typical beach setup so I thought why not do something like this and then um, just found that planetarium and it just kind of all connected that I could kind of do a park and have a planetarium as part of that park um, so now what I'm going to end up doing here is uh, I'm gonna have to I'm gonna put the planetarium at the end of this little peninsula and I'm building a road to make it to the end of that peninsula and we'll see how that works out for me all right so got this road in place but um, actually I'm going to do this with a different type of road I'm actually going to use this little two-way road that's a it's like a narrow road but it's a two-way road that concrete road that I was using it's just kind of a uh, it's just so plain that I just uh, it's so plain it's very plain uh, and I just don't want to use it um, I think that having this little two-way road will look a little bit better at the end of the day so I'm gonna smooth out this that is a mighty 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 steep hill um, so this might be a little difficult but I think I can figure it out these are some parking lots that uh, work like buildings cars do use them they're really good I really like the color of that pavement it's very realistic looking um, but uh, they are kind of a pain in the butt as you can see the corners of that one we can actually let's see we can actually raise that up um, I thought there might have been a yeah that's probably not gonna work let's just raise it up using the page up and move it different shade of pavement but that's okay but they look really good I don't mind the sand kind of going over a little bit on the edges of that but I don't want it to look too uh, too bad so here is the planetarium so my idea is we're gonna set it up here right on top and let's see all right so that's pretty cool looking uh, yeah, I like that building it's got a little path that comes off of it so that could be somewhat problematic we can just turn it we can put that path right there. Lots of vanilla trees. Ugh, these vanilla trees. So we're going to have to change those trees using prop it to some palms and maybe some different looking trees. They just don't look right with the rest of those trees. Um, so that's something we can do. So yeah, uh, that's a cool looking building. No road access as the road is down there low. I think we ultimately might be able to fix that. I don't know. I just don't really know exactly how I'm going to get a road up there without tearing into that terrain. Um, try building it over this way. Maybe that would come up. See, those trees are just built in so that that obviously is not going to not going to work let me just start getting rid of some of these trees on here we got this one and uh, are you kidding me oh my gosh crash and burn crash and burn you gotta love it glitch glitch mania Gotta love it. All right. Ugh, I'm back. Oh, man. I've had that happen with Prop It Up a couple of times. So, it's not all that surprising. So, I decided to get rid of the parking lots that I was using. They didn't last long, did they? Um... When I was moving them around, I started getting lots of terrain tearing and uh, Blue Mantra, which is the underbelly of City Skylines. It pops up when you have some glitchy situations. And yes, I could have uh, hit all that with um, 
the right bushes and things, but figured, you know, let me just go ahead and fix that by just making a regular parking lot close by and um, that'll kind of solve my solve my issues. So I'm making, making a little pathway here that is going to lead up to the planetarium and um, using these brick decals, uh, these brick decals, and I got this staircase among the staircase here. And what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna bring this invisible sidewalk down these stairs so people will take, well, there's a person over there not taking the uh, invisible sidewalk. Uh, I just put it up, so I guess that's, uh, I guess that's understandable. Uh, look at this person. Well, maybe we can just... I don't really understand why they're taking the path straight from the end of the parking lot. Alright, so what we're going to do... I got rid of the parking lot. I kind of... I'm changing this up. We're going to move this down and connect it with this path here, okay? So I'm changing it up. No, I'm not giving up on my original plan. But I just had a little bit of a vision that we could do with this a little bit differently. And also I will inform you that I worked on trying to get that pathway set up for the people to actually use the staircase for probably a good hour and a half. Um, so anybody out there watching that's a Cities player, if you have any tips on stair modification and things like that, I am all ears because uh, was driving me absolutely crazy. Um, could not get those stairs to cooperate. The um, Sims would not use it. Uh, they just refused to use the stairs. They just went right up the slope. Daring, crazy, nice citizens that I have in this town. Um, so I kind of had a uh, idea that I could just pull that off of here and save myself some trouble um, and actually I have a neat idea to do up here in the top of the hill that we'll do here in a second. So here we have some parking lot roads that are more or less just wide roads um, that have um, enough room to make parking on one side. And I thought that would be kind of perfect and we're just going to go ahead and make a parking lot. We've got a parking lot right up here on top of this hill. And then my idea is um, to kind of put like a recreational area up here with some um, playground equipment and things like that. So you can come up here, park, and it's just a beautiful view um, of the ocean. And uh, yeah, so you could go plan walk down to the planetarium, go to this little beach resort restaurant place, uh, park wherever you wanted to. Lots of options. So. We're kind of making a little entrance here on this corner um, using some concrete decals and kind of got some jagged edges here we're just going to kind of cover those up with some bushes and things like that just to give that a little bit more of a well-rounded look and um, let's see we'll use some of these decals to we'll kind of make it look a little bit more what do we got this will probably work. You know what? I don't know. I'm not sure if I like the look of this. Uh, yeah, maybe not. I don't know. We might just go with it. We'll see. So, uh, maybe we'll do... I need something. I need like an entrance or something here. Um, let's see if we have... kind of smooth that off. I think that's the part that's kind of catching my eye that looks a little weird is that just 90 degree right angle there. Just take that towel. There we go. That's a little better. Just like that. That kind of gives us a nice platform for people to for, a, for an entrance. And then hopefully people will actually walk down the path that's built into this asset. I mean What in the world? Um, so, the I love those little sunflower props. Those are so cool. 
Now, here we have a park entrance. So these are only usable if you have a, if you're set up for a park. So I went ahead and just set this area up as a park. So these are, look at that. Jeez. However you can get to your parking spot. Now this park gate is, uh, it's really nice looking. Um, but part of using the gates like this, they're kind of like an all-in-one thing. So when if you use one, they're going to, it's going to not exactly work with decals. So you see there's like a little bit of a lip there. That's because there's a sidewalk entrance connected to this. And what we're going to do is we're, unfortunately, you know, we're going to, yeah, there's nothing I can do to get rid of that other than I'm just going to have to probably get rid of those decals um, all right so let's go ahead and connect a fence here this will give this a nice uh, look around all right there we go got the fence all around I went ahead and put a second entrance on the side I think that looks really good that kind of anytime you add a fence to something it, it's amazing what it does all right so here we have our Big playground equipment, Castle Playground revised. The first rendition was not good enough, and we have revised it into the Castle Playground revised version. But this looks incredibly dangerous for children. Uh, yeah, we're gonna have to build a quay. Let's put this quay around. I haven't used quays all that much. These are basically just concrete barriers that serve as a retaining wall and give your coast a nice crisp look. Um, it looks a lot more polished um, and this one has a fence built in so that will keep the kiddos from uh, any kind of danger here we've got some more rocky terrain I'm just gonna kind of cover up uh, putting a little vegetation on it and that will give you know the kids something else to kind of play around on if they want to you don't necessarily have to use the, uh, the playground equipment now let's see let's just add a few little props in here just to give it a tad bit more detail and then we'll put this fence over here where that way we can kind of have a little bit of a safety edge uh, for the kids now um, this path here is just going to be kind of some benches set up um, lots of good scenic spots lots of good scenic views everywhere on top of this little peninsula um, We can also thought I had probably don't. I'll tell you what, we do need to put in one thing we are definitely missing. We need some lights over here, so we'll put a couple of light posts in. Maybe a little bird bath, uh, no trash cans yeah we do need some trash cans uh, oh we have a floating trash can there we go uh, and then, yeah that looks good uh, that looks good I like that all right so let's just finish off a little detailing I got a little kiosk here with some information for park goers maybe some planetarium tickets or free tickets to a crappy show at the casino so you come and gamble your life savings away when really you should be investing your money uh what else we got another kiosk yeah let's put a kiosk right there that's good cool all right nice to have information nice to have information already added in some trees using the uh, tree painter uh, which is a incredibly awesome mod that you can just uh, tree brush tree painter whatever it's called you can use so yeah I think this turned out good you know uh, I really like uh, really like the look of that I'm a big planetarium fan myself I, I love going to planetariums whenever I'm in uh, uh, a city that has one the one in Chicago next to the uh, field museum I believe is a great place to uh, check out and do some learning. Well, I hope you enjoyed today's episode, guys. I appreciate you watching. Be sure to click that like button and subscribe if you haven't already for more great content. 
we're about done with this uh, beach resort series. One more episode to go. I'm going to hold myself to 10, so it's going to be a doozy to wrap it all up. Thanks for watching. Have a good one, and we'll see you next time.